the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for June 30th. Well, the month's going to go out with a whimper. No systems active today, no storms, nothing that's named out there right now. So the number stalls at 31 for the year so far. It's day 182 of 2020. In the Atlantic, that area of interest in the main development region is down to near 0% on day 30 of Atlantic hurricane season. Beyond four to five days, we are looking out for potential development off the US East Coast though. Day 47 in the Eastern Pacific, and we could get a brief tropical cyclone out of a 60% chance off Baja California Sur. Boris still traceable, uh, well into the Central Pacific now. And nothing is active yet again in the Western Pacific, which is uh, really in a deep slumber right now, and nothing on the horizon either. The Indian Ocean is similarly so, but less of a surprise because it's pretty much shut down now at this time of year and for the summer months before it ramps up again the northern part in the later months of the year. North Atlantic looks like this. You can see that little area of interest on the uh, eastern side of that uh, round oval, um, but doesn't look like much is going to come out of that. That's why we've toned it down to 0%. I think National Hurricane Center still have it at 10. That may change when this gets published. Saharan dust still dominates the Atlantic Ocean and even into the Gulf of Mexico, you can still see it there as well. So in the Eastern Pacific, we've panned left a little bit, so you can't see those two fledging areas of interest that have the lower chances, but you can see what's left of Boris, still alive and still traceable, and that 60% area, which does have a little bit of a cyclonic appearance already, uh, so maybe we will get a tropical depression out of that. Tropical storm chances are still rather low. The Western Pacific, very little going on. You can see monsoonal development more than anything going on in the South China Sea. Over China itself, some big thunderstorms blowing up again in the southwestern part. Over 78 have now been killed in some of those provinces, which uh, weren't really affected by the coronavirus outbreak, so the death toll is actually higher from the flooding re in recent days. In the South Pacific, things looking fairly quiet here. Just a few more rumbles off the Solomon Islands and in the Indian Ocean. There is some significant thunderstorm activity over India, uh, but over the oceans, very little going on, and what's left of those areas of interest on the southern side of the equator continue to deteriorate. Sea surface temperatures, a little pocket of 30 degree waters off the uh, coast of uh, southern Mexico now, but the East Pacific in general is still somewhat cool. The Atlantic warming up again, uh, more of the Bahamas getting in on those 30 degrees Celsius waters and extending out to the main development region more warmer waters, 28 degrees or so, extending some distance now. The Indian Ocean fairly warm as well, the Bay of Bengal 30 degrees plus around the coastal areas. The South uh, China Sea getting very warm now, nearly 32 degrees in one pocket off the northwestern part of Palawan. Um, further towards the east there, again, same story as what we've been looking at over the last few days. Also to note, the subtropics are warm in the western Pacific there as well, which we are looking at a little system that could, a uh, very outside chance of being a subtropical cyclone currently moving over the Korean Peninsula. We haven't designated it. On this day, on June 30th, 1953, Typhoon Kit was active as a Category 5. Yes, if you saw a few days ago, we had another kit that was a Category 5. Yep, there's two. Both in the same month. This one peaked with winds estimated of 175 miles per hour and a pressure of 902 millibars. That's our analysis. Um, also on this day in 2004, we had two typhoons. Mindul off the coast of Luzon was weakening from a Category 2. And another storm whose name has escaped me now further out to sea that was peaking today as a Category 1. Didn't affect land. The next name on the Atlantic naming list is Edward followed by Faye. In the East Pacific, we're looking out for Christina. That 60% chance, if it does happen, becomes a tropical storm. That's the name it will get. Douglas would come after that. In the Central Pacific, Hone is next on list one. In the Western Pacific, Sinlaku, followed by Hagupit on list three. And in the North Indian Ocean, Gatti is the next name on the brand new list one. 
sort of getting into a bit of a loop here because I'm reading out the same names every day because we haven't seen any more storms. Imogen next up in the Australian region can die in the Southwest Indian Ocean if it happens today. And in the South Pacific, Yolanda is next up. That's all for now. We'll have another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.